Hello everyone, welcome to the Sport Marker and Partners YouTube channel. My name is Mitchell Parsonage and today I'm going to take you through a plugin called ProSheets by Dyroots. ProSheets is a free plugin for Autodesk Revit to batch export views and sheets to PDF, DWG, DGN, DWF, NWC, IFC, as well as image formats such as JPEG, PNG, as well as TIF. To download ProSheets, you're going to start by going to www.dyroots.com. From there, you're going to go to the top right hand corner where you have Revit plugins, which will produce a list of the tools available and select the tool that you want. You'll get a brief description of what the tool does as well as some of the features. You can click on free download, which will take you to the bottom section of the page where you are required to fill out some information, select submit, and you'll be presented with a download link which you can click on. Once you have downloaded and installed the tool, you will find it under the Dyroots tab under the ProSheets panel in your Revit. It is compatible with versions 2017 to 2021. When I open up ProSheets, I'm gonna get a list of all of the available sheets that I currently have in my model. That is provided I have any sheets. If I don't, this will obviously just be blank. The first thing that we can do is we can decide what sheets we wanna work with. Alternatively, if we would like to just print views, we can also switch to views and we can get a list of all of the views in our projects or we can break them down by category and select just the views that we would like to work with. So I'm gonna stick with sheets for this one and I will need to have something ticked here before I can continue on to the formats and to the create tabs. So I will just start working with the first three for now. Before I click next and move on to the formats section, I want to bring up this little row off to the side over here called custom drawing number. Whatever is in this field is going to be the actual name of your PDF file once it has been exported. So the nice thing that you can do here is that you can actually combine a couple of parameters in your sheet to give yourself uh, whatever standards you need to work towards in terms of naming conventions. And you can even add your own custom parameter here as well. So if I click on this little edit button, I'll get a list of all of my parameters associated with my sheets. So for example, if I want my sheet to be uh, the sheet name first and then the sheet number, I can add those two and, and the order is obviously quite important. Whichever one is at the top will be the first in the list and then the field separator will be a little dash and then it will be the sheet number. So if I leave that as is and I say OK, I will get, for example, first floor HVAC layout dash 401. So my sheet name and my sheet number. And if I want, I can actually add a custom field over here, whatever it is that I want. Say OK, and then that will be added to the end of all of them. So I can also construct uh, my strings in that fashion as well. Once I have decided what I want in terms of my custom drawing number over here and I've set everything out accordingly, I can go next or I can just click on formats. So here you've got all of the available formats that you can export as well as all of the printer settings that you get just from the inbuilt print function that Revit gives you. So for PDFs, I can come over here and I can set a zoom function if I want. I can offset from a corner. I can place it at center, raster versus vector, the quality, and just my general Revit print options that I have over here. I can also choose to create separate files for my PDFs, or I can combine all of the views that I've selected into one PDF file, and they will simply be on different pages. Then when I tick on another option like DWG, for example, I will get the DWG settings that I can go and adjust. And if I want to do a DWF as well, I can do the same thing. I can go and make changes to all of the DWF settings that I would like. And again, I can create separate files or I can combine multiple ones. I will go and export PDF, DWG, as well as DWF, and I will click next. At the top, I've got my export rules. The first thing that I want to do generally is choose the target location that I would like to export these files to. So this file path is fine, I will leave it like that. And then I've got these two functions over here, save all files in the same folder location. So that's just gonna create all of your files, just one beneath each other. Alternatively, I can save and split files by file format. And what this will do is, uh, Dyroots will actually create the folders for you and will create a folder called PDF and all of your PDFs will be in that folder. It'll do the same thing with DWG, the same thing with DWFs. And I'll show you that in a second as well. 
then I can also choose to create a report or not. So if I do create a report, it will give me a bunch of useful information like what drawings were saved on that day, what time, how long they took to compile and things like that. So I will change this to save report to Excel. For now, I'll leave it as save all files in the same folder location and I can just click create. If I tick these, the things that are ticked here are not the ones that are gonna be created. I only tick things that I want to edit because I can come here and I can edit some of this information, paper size and orientation. So if I tick that sheet 401, I can change its size to whatever it is that I want to. I can also change its orientation instead of landscape, maybe I want it to be portrait. Okay, I'll change that back to landscape. But that's how you make the edits in the screen over here. You actually tick the ones that you wanna work with. When you click create, regardless of what you have ticked, it is still going to just create all of them. I will click create and as you see, we get a live update of the progress. Once the tool has completed running, it's gonna tell me that everything was completed successfully and it will give me the option to open that folder so that I can check my drawings. So if I click on this underlined folder word over here, it'll go straight to that folder for me where I have all the information that I requested. And if I open up my PDFs, I can see that they're all sized correctly. And here is my report. So if I go to my Excel report, it'll give me a list of all of the file names, as well as the formats, as well as the paths, as well as the sizes, and will also give me the export time, the status of whether it was successful or not. Then I've got the total export time, the date, and the start and the finish time of that export. So this is a really nice log to keep. Every time you wanna do an export, you can just keep track of what you have and haven't exported. I'll go ahead and delete all of these quickly, and I will run the tool again and I'll just make one small change. I'll leave everything the same and I will just change this to save and split files by file format so that we can see the finished result. Again, once that is complete, I can click on the folder button to take me to that folder location. And as I can see, I have got three folders created for me. And if I go into them, there will be all of my drawings listed. And bearing in mind again, that the name of the physical file matches the name that we set up right here in the selection area, right in the beginning, the custom drawing number, that name is going to be the completed file name uh, once the item has been exported. That is everything that I wanted to talk to you about today. ProSheets is a very, very handy tool for exporting these documents, especially in batch form. And it has some very interesting capabilities if you combine Dynamo with this as well, you can get your files named very quickly. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get back to them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.